Hello everyone, my name is Bottlesy. Welcome back to another video. Battles in Total War can be hectic, can be really confusing. So this video is all about keybinds to make your life a little bit easier when it comes to fighting battles. To start off with, I'd like to say that you can rotate up and down with the camera. If you do C, it goes down. If you rotate up, it's V. As you can see, you can go up and down here. So to get the camera down, you need to press Z. To go up, you press X. Next, to rotate left, you press Q. Rotate right, press E. Also, keep in mind, you have the full range of motion when it comes to WASD, but you can also use the middle mouse button to look around like this. I often find myself using a combination of the WASD and the middle mouse button to have a look around to see what I need to see. N is one of the most useful keybinds you can use, which allows you to zoom in in combination with the mouse wheel scroll up and down alongside middle mouse to look around. To select all of your melee units, what you can do is press Control and I. And as you can see, I've grabbed all of my melee units and it's highlighted them. You can also do the same by basically left click on the unit and then pressing Shift and left click. You can see that I've selected all of them. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold right click out and then move their position. Next up, what I'm going to do is Alt left click and then move them like this without ever changing their formation. Next up, what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the direction they're looking with Alt, left click and control at the same time. And you can see I can change the direction. And I can pivot it like this with the left click held down. One fairly useful tip is the guard mode. So if I were to press H, these guys in guard mode will no longer chase any units that they're fighting and will stay put. Next up, what we'll do is group this unit, either G or click down here. And you can see I also can lock their formation. You can see now when I press one, I will select this unit. So if I can do one of these and one of these, you can see if I press one, we'll select over to here, select two, we'll go over to my mages, and then three goes over to my other mage. Makes it really easy to select between uh, spells that you need access to. But this one as well, if we were to lock them here, you can see control G locks them like so. Now they will not move out of their formation. So no matter what I do with them, they will stay in formation. Control C will select all your cavalry units and everything mounted. Control M will select all of your missile units. One really incredible keybind is J, which will turn the direction of that unit around. So let's say you've just charged your cavalry in and you press J, they'll start to run away, which is super useful. In combination of using the right click, they'll get out nice and easy. In the same way, if you use your range units like this, and you're starting to get attacked, you can start moving them away with J. Press Control A will select every single unit. When the battle's really crazy, what you can do is use down here, set melee front, and it'll put your melee units up in front alongside your cavalry with your squishy units protected at the back. To demonstrate how I typically fight battles, I'll get all of my flanking units like the cavalry on the left flank or on the right flank, maybe even separating them out to go around and hammer an anvil. Get all of the melee units up front, alongside having your squishy units, which are the range units behind them and having your artillery protected as well. What I like to do personally is I like to group all of these guys myself, just so I know where all of them are like so. And so when I do this, I've got them all grouped and so I can just toggle between them all during the battle so I know where everybody should be. What you can do is press insert on one of your artillery pieces and it allows you to shoot twice overall. So once this artillery piece is shot in, like so, I'm going to press insert myself and I can manually fire, but it is usually a miracle if I manage to hit manual fires. Once everyone's in the right formation, what you can do is control A, move them all up like so, and then get everybody where they should be, fighting the relevant units. And then this is the easiest way you can ensure that you're attacking everything that you need to be, because there are certain priority units, for example, obviously the Streltsies need to die because they'll kill my front line. But I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you so very much for watching. Any questions, please don't hesitate to comment down below. And I also stream live on Twitch, Mondays, Wednesdays, and Saturdays. Thank you so much for watching. Take care of yourself.